what's going on y'all welcome to or welcome back to nico lodi and asmr i hope everybody's having an amazing day welcome back to another video in today's video i have some gum extra smooth mint and i'm just going to be doing a gum chewing ramble for y'all it's going to be doing a little gum chewing ramble for y'all update y'all on some things and just talk a little bit um as you can see my beard is super ugly i'm trying to grow it back but like i just look Disgusting, unhygienic, but it's fine. It's all a part of the process, you feel me? But yeah, it's got a few pieces of gum right here. And let's just get into it. Like this is the 
year of organization as well. I need to be a lot more organized with my life, you know. I'm growing up, as you can see, and I'm just trying to like figure things out, you know, because life is very, life's been very difficult lately, but I feel a lot more motivated now than I've been in a while. And I know I can't rely off motivation solely, which is why I'm also trying to build discipline as well. It takes a lot, but I think it's like, I don't know, it feels, it feels good, I guess. Like I'm trying, I'm trying to find my style and find my flow. I got this new jacket from Kelsey that Forever 21. That's really nice. I got the watch on. Got some jewelry on. This hat, I didn't want to wear it, but like I have a do-rag on and I don't want to like, I just didn't, I just like brushed my hair, so that's that. One thing I would say, if you, if you think about cutting your hair off and getting waves, you got to keep that junk lined up and maintained because if not, you look a mess. And that's one of the good things about having a lot of hair. Like, you don't, people don't really notice how messed up your hair is until it's, until it's short. But I'm planning to get a haircut soon. Whenever. But that's not important. Anyways, like I was saying, I'm trying to get on my grown man stuff. And honestly, I'm getting there. I still got a lot of stuff to work on. But, you know, every day is an improvement. And, and that's, that's, that's all I can, you know what I'm saying? That's all I can do. Improve every day. Let me know if I should keep this freaking beard growing out or just cut it off. I don't know. It's like it's in the ugly stages. So like everywhere I go, I get very self-conscious because like I feel like I don't. I feel like I look like I don't groom myself, you know, which is why I'm trying to dress a different style. So like when people look at me, they're like, you know what I'm saying? But also I'm trying not to worry so much about what other people think about me because it's really like it's not that important. I feel like I should be the only one judging the way I look. You know, not really caring about how it's look, but at the same time, I think the person I'm trying to become wants to give off this certain energy, this certain vibration. So it's like, I gotta dress and look a certain way to other people. That's how you become a lot more approachable. Uh, you're able to network with more people, stuff like that. So, yeah. But yeah, um, organization, man. That's the goal, man. That's the goal. Just trying to get better every day. And I don't mean to turn this into a podcast. But speaking of podcasts, though, I just posted another podcast on Tuesday. If you want to go listen to that, I just talked about, you know, the, the new year, some goals you can do, how to be your best self in the new year, stuff like that. It was kind of short, but it's like my first podcast back so I don't want to make it too long but I'm going to start back being more consistent with my podcast as well link is in the description and you put on some lip, some uh, chapstick that's what I use Blistex Like it was literally 
just like 60 degrees and then out of nowhere it, 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 it's been like 30 uh, 17 20 like it's crazy and then I look at Miami weather it's 80 degrees I'm convinced Miami is not a real place because how is it 80 degrees and everybody else is struggling even Houston is cold like what it's fine though I just cannot wait till the summertime I know I have a feeling that summer's gonna be super hot and humid, especially in Georgia. So it's like you never really, you don't ever really benefit, but it's like I would rather be hot than cold. Just cause I don't like wearing clothes. But, it's, but like, I mean, like, I'm trying to, you know, start wearing more clothes. Cause like, yeah, I wanna get back on my fashion stuff. So it's like, let's start now. Why not start now?
that's been I've been wanting to do that for the longest to get somebody a freaking teddy bear one the giant ones so that, that's my goal this year I'm not gonna say too much because I think that person might be watching this video so yeah it will remain a mystery but yeah um Valentine's Day. I'll get y'all something. I'll get everybody something. Why not? Get y'all a box of chocolates. We can all share it. I made some lettuce wraps for dinner yesterday. They were so good. I saw it on Pinterest and I'm like, I, I gotta try this. So I went to Walmart. Grab some lettuce. Already had some some chicken at home. Got some bacon bits, and then um, already had cheese. So what I did, got a lettuce wrap. Uh, do some some grilled chicken on it, sliced up. Do some bacon bits, some cheese, and a little bit of ranch on the top. It was so good. Like I'm definitely gonna eat that again. And then it's like it's not it's not only if you bloat it because it's not carbs. Besides the oh, I, I also put rice at the bottom. Rice was good too. But it's really good because like you're not eating a lot of carbs, you know, and I'm trying to lose, I'm trying to lower the amount of carbs I eat, especially because I'm not in the gym as much as I used to be. So like when I was working out in bulking, I would eat so many carbs throughout the day. It was insane, but it gave me energy to lift, you know, because you're bulking. But now that I'm trying to like, I'm not really cutting, but I'm not bulking. So I'm like, I'm, 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 I'm main gaining, maintaining, but also making gains, if that makes sense. You know, so like I'm trying to eat a lot less carbs, but like not go completely keto, you know. And also I'm trying to slap my face on again because like I feel like it got a lot fatter. Look at this. Oh no, maybe I'm just like being self-conscious. I need to stop that. It's time to be more confident in yourself. If you're watching this and you feel freaking um insecure or anything of the sorts, just be confident. That's all you got to do. Look at yourself in the mirror. Let you know you're beautiful because you are beautiful. You are amazing. You are handsome. You are pretty. You are special. You know, and you're the best ever in the world. You're, you're just, you're, you're great. You're amazing. You're awesome. So, yeah. Don't let anybody tell you otherwise. You gotta start speaking affirmations over your life, man. It's just time to be a lot more confident this year. For real. Stop speaking down to yourself. Because the more you do that, the more you reinforce that, and the more you are that, you know? It's just about, this year is about positivity, and all that you do, be positive in everything that you do, and, and you will see a lot of positive results. But it's ain't a podcast. I already did my podcast, but I kind of want to do another video um, from my other channel where I just, like, it's more so a podcast style video where I just give you motivation and stuff, so... I might still a lot, start doing a lot more of that on my other channel. I'm going to still do the vlogs. It's just like, there's not been much to vlog. There hasn't been much to vlog. So it's like, what's the point? You feel me? But I'm still going to do a lot more videos on that. Just like, patience. All you can do is be patient. Six months in like 
really get my life together, you know, work out, eat healthy, take care of myself, uh, grind on YouTube, get my life together, I'm telling you, because a lot can change in one year, and I want to use these first six months of the year to really, like, lock in so I can enjoy the second half of my year, you know, because I think last year, I, I played around the first six months, I really was like, not taking things serious i was just kind of doing my own thing but all this at the same time i was like going through a lot of transformation uh throughout the first few months of the year but i still wasn't like taking it serious so now that i have like the experience i have the mindset i'm going to really apply it and just go for it so that the next six months of this year is more so enjoying it having fun uh, continuing to be, you continue to cry. I already have my discipline, you know. I already have that as a habit, so I can just keep going and then just improving as as time goes on, you know. But it's just like you gotta start somewhere, you know. That's really the hardest part, just starting. And once you start, keep it up, and it becomes effortless. else happened recently what was it ow I just bit my lip I don't know oh yeah I've been watching the Ted series, or oh, I finished it, but the new Ted series on Peacock, that's the only reason I bought a subscription, I literally just canceled it, but I think it's really funny, it's really good, it's, it's a lot better than the movie, so if y'all watch Ted, and y'all haven't seen the series yet, go watch it, let me know how y'all feel about it, I thought it was really funny. I've also been watching way too much Family Guy lately, so I think that's why... Like I've been watching too much Family Guy. Like, I will keep it on. It's like, on YouTube, it's like a bunch of, like, it's like a live run of uh, Family Guy episodes. So I would just click on that and, like, keep it in the background while I'm doing my skincare and stuff. Or, like, getting ready for work. Or I'm just chilling, you know. But I'm finna stop doing that. Because that show is crazy. It's very unhinged. And, like, no. I think from this point on, I'm just gonna start, like... This morning, I watched, like, luxury house tours. I'm gonna start doing that. So, like, when I'm doing my skincare and I don't want to be in a silence or, like, just need something in the background, I'm gonna start watching, like, luxury house tours and stuff like that. That's, that's one thing I've been really interested in. Like, mansions and, like, really nice homes. Like, having people walk through them. I don't even watch them. That one dude, his name is Ennis. I don't know his last name. I don't know how to pronounce his last name, but... He did a lot of tours. I've been watching him a lot. I'm gonna start watching a lot more of those just so I can get accustomed with the luxury lifestyle, you know? I'm trying to manifest that for me, you feel me? But yeah, definitely doing that. I really wanna start going to like open houses and touring apartments and stuff. That's one thing I wanna do this year for sure. One of my friends talked about it. Going to like open houses, really nice homes. Just, just, just looking, pretending we, got, pretending we gonna buy the house. That's the goal. Make it look like we wanna buy the house. And I think the more I get like around that environment, you know. Shut up, stomach. I'm gonna feed you. But the more I get around that environment and just like let it become a lot more natural to me you feel me I definitely gonna do that I also want to test drive my dream car this year I want to go to a dealership the Mercedes Benz dealership and see if they have the AMG I want to drive it I want to test drive I want to sit inside of it and just like get accustomed to it that's also a good way to manifest like what you like it mess manifest your dream car test drive it or at least just look at it get close to it touch it 
air shades or something that you would normally keep in your car, just put it in the car so you can visualize where it is. I got that from Jeff Logan. If y'all don't like, if y'all don't listen to Jeff Logan or, or know who he is, he's an actor, a model, a uh, bodybuilder, and he's one of the people I look up to. I definitely been, I love his podcast. That's what inspired me to do podcasts. So, especially if you're like a young man or just a man in general, um, and y'all need motivation, go check him out. Um, he's really good. Plus my my uh, dream jobs or like just things I want to do in my life. I want to be an actor, a model, a body. Well, I won't say a body but I want to like get into the fitness industry. I want to do my podcast, of course, and stuff like that. So like look up to people. I like looking up to people who are already who already made it. So like I can see their steps and how they progressed and like their journey towards becoming great. And I think that's really good for me, you know. And plus, this is a good way to document my journey as well. My vlogs, my ASMR videos, um, my own podcast. Link in the description, by the way. Everything is linked down below. If y'all want to check me out, all in the description. So, yeah. But yeah, it's just, I don't know. I want, I want y'all to see my journey and see how much I've grown throughout the, throughout the days, you know. I think my very first video on this channel was me in college. And I remember I was a mess. I did a lot of cursing in my videos. I just like, I wasn't happy. And I think the person I was when I first started this channel to the person I am today, like I have, I've grown a lot. I still got a lot of growing to do, but I've grown a lot. And I just can't wait to see, like even in three to five years where I'll be in life, I'm definitely gonna still be making these videos. I don't care. Like even if I'm in Hollywood on TV, I'm gonna be making ASMR videos, like in my trailer or something. Like I'm gonna do it because that's my goal, and I love doing this. Like it's really, really, it's it's fun, it's refreshing, it's exciting. I love reading y'all comments. I don't know I'm just blessed. I'm really blessed, and I can't like express my gra enough gratitude for like everything y'all been doing for me. Cause I, I don't even feel like I got lucky. I feel like I was just blessed. I don't know. I just feel like if you want to do something, even if it's a ASMR, do it. I'm talking to you. Like, just do it. Start start now. Make your first video. You don't even need a fancy microphone. You don't need a whole fancy setup. Just start. I'm filming off my iPhone. My first video, I filmed off my iPad. Like, you can do anything you put your mind to. Just do it. Because the longer you put it off, the longer it'll take for you to achieve it. So why not just start now? And just see where you end up in the next few years. I'm not even where I want to be, but I know I'm getting there. Why? Because I started. Am I as consistent as I want to be? No. But did I start? Yes. You feel me? But that goes for quite literally anything. You want to play, you want to play for your school basketball team? Try out. You want to become a youtuber start your channel you want to get into i don't know the gym start i like these videos though because i can ramble to y'all but i can also motivate y'all you know it's just it's really nice being it's, it's like it's really nice being heard you know because i don't really feel like people listen to me a lot you know especially at home I just feel like I talk and it goes to one ear and not the other. But like when I talk to y'all, I feel like y'all listening to me and it's, it's refreshing and I love it and I appreciate y'all a lot. Um, but yeah, I got a lot to do today. So I'm going uh, to get on it, I guess. I'm about to go eat though, I'm hungry. Like it's such a beautiful day outside, but it's so ugly. Not ugly, it's so cold. It's beautiful, but it's cold. I can't wait till the spring, bro. Can't wait, but patience. Also, my contacts should be here on like they said Saturday. So that's exciting. I can stare at my freaking eyes again. But yeah, my concerts are coming Saturday. 
I don't know when my new glasses are coming. Should be here soon as well. Maybe like by like Wednesday of next week. They should be here. But yeah, um, I think I'm gonna wrap it up here. I appreciate y'all for watching. Thank y'all so much for taking the time out of your day, out of your night to watch me. Um, okay, we're gonna, we're, thank y'all for watching. I'm out. Bye.